Hello everyone, it's Vincent1989 from Blitzkrieg Brushes here and I am going to be doing an unboxing and review of Warlord Games Imperial Roman Starter Army for their Hail Caesar miniature rule set. So this is the box here, it's quite a nice sized box which is good because it means there's lots of nice miniatures inside so the packaging is quite professional, there's nothing on the back which I think is an opportunity missed. And it also doesn't come shrink wrapped, um, which makes it seem less premium than I believe it actually is. So in this box you get a full starter army. It contains 60 plastic Imperial Roman legionaries, 20 plastic Praetorian guard, 20 plastic Imperial Roman veterans, 24 plastic Imperial Roman auxiliaries, and full colour water slide shield transfers for every miniature, which is fantastic because those on their own cost a bit of money. Now I picked this up on eBay, brand new, for £44, which I think is a good price. On Warlord Games website itself, this retails at £75, so that's quite a massive saving. I'm also looking to get the starter set, which is Hail Caesar Conquest of Gaul which contains the rule book, um, 30 Roman legionaries and I believe 80 Celts. But uh, we'll start off with just this box today. So, box art's cool there. So inside the box, it's very kind of reminiscent at first of the um, Airfix kits. So you've got these individually sealed sprues. They're not all that way, but these are the auxiliaries. They come four to a sprue. Um, you've got five head options, you get four shields, one for each, and you get some arms. There's not a lot of options to these, and the disappointing thing about the box is that you do not get a command. You have to buy those separately, as they are metal. I think that's a, an opportunity missed, because everything else comes with a command in here. I think they could have done with either throwing the metal ones in, or having gone out of their way to, to cast up... Um, to, to create a sprue of plastic ones. I'm just going to open these now for you so you can see that I'm opening these for the first time. That's so you can get a good look at the sprue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the box to one side. In fact, I'm just going to put this paper down so you've got a nice white background so it focuses. So you get four auxiliaries and these would have been um, people that wouldn't be considered Roman citizens. So they would have come from the more outlying provinces, especially when, by this point, I believe any Italian could be a legionary. So they've got these nice rounded shields. The Imperial Roman set contains, or the legionaries in the... So Imperial Roman Legionaries, these are the ones that you imagine when you imagine Roman Legionaries. They've got the, the big square scutums, that's the shields. I think that's the shields, I hope I've got that right. Uh, and then they've got the pilum, which is the uh, throwing spear for short range, which was designed to to bend so it can be thrown back at them or, or thrown at such close range that they were too close to have it thrown back at them. So I put that to one side. So you get six of those and they're all individually wrapped because I th think these are just pre-packaged copies of the, the four man sprue they have on the website. So they're obviously pre-packaged because they do send these out individually as well. So you get all six of those there. You get one, two sprues of veterans. Now the veterans are the guys that have been in combat. Their shields are all smashed to pieces. And I believe the transfers, which I'll get to uh, at the end, they reflect the damage in the shield. So where the shield there you can see has been broken through the transfer will fit nicely around that you won't have to cut and shape that so the heads on these guys they look particularly gruff they've got lots of beard lots of moustache hair uh, there's a patch over this one's eye 
they're designed to look like they've been campaigning long and hard and there's a lot of sword options there. I don't think it's possible to have all of them armed with the spear, which is a bit of a shame. I would have preferred to have seen that than all armed with swords or the ability to arm all with swords. But there's only so much room on a sprue, so this is the standard sprue. And, oh, sorry for the camera shake there. And this is the command sprue, so they've got the uh, the horn there, and you've got the standards there that the, the Romans would have marched into battle uh, alongside and to, to protect with their life. Um, again, there's the damage to the shield. You can see the corner chipped off there. And... Um, there's some nice sculpting, there's a nice cape on the uh, centurion there, or the uh, the minor the minor leader of the, the band. And there's also um, fur, the bear or wolf fur um, headdresses for the uh, standard bearers. So it's a pretty neat set and all, they've got everything in there that you could really want. Again, my only gripe is that they don't have enough uh, spear and arms holding spears to do a full a full 20 of those which is a shame but you can't have everything so you get two of those sprues then you get two sprues of these guys uh, I'm gonna do this one first so this is the standard sprue of the plastic Praetorian guard they've got a rounded shield with a bit of a bigger boss it like runs the whole length of the shield there um, these guys are the elite. They were there to protect the Roman emperors. Although I think if you if you read your history, they probably did for more Roman emperors than they uh, did not do for. <laughs> um, there are quite a lot of guys armed with the spears here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it is possible to do an entire. Um, 20 of these all armed with their spear which is cool they've got the head crests for the helmets and they generally look really cool I think the, the faces look quite determined very stoic I particularly like these guys they're, they're quite reminiscent of an Asterix and Obelix cartoon strip and if you've seen those you'll know what I mean they've got the very chunky noses and uh, quite chubby rosy cheeks and there's, there's plenty of options in there for whatever you can possibly want to do. They've even got the round shields for the, for the leaders of the unit, so that's pretty cool. And the second sprue is the command sprue. So this sprue again has the, the horn. It has two different types of standard. You've got the... So two different types of standard. The horn, you've got the bear or... Looks like it might be lion in this case. The lion headdresses make sense, they're Praetorians. They would have uh, the most rare and exotic animals adorning them. A uh, bit nice ornate armour for the captain there. And again, plenty of spears to do a fully armed spear unit. Um, I really like these guys, I think they're very characterful models. And then we get to the meat of the box, which is six sprues of Imperial Roman legionaries. And these are the guys that you see in the films. They've got the massive shields, the big square, the big rectangular shields. You get um, one, two. So I think this box must be comprised of two of the old 30 man legionary boxes rather than the new 20 man legionary boxes because I've only got two sprues two command sprues again these are the ones with the horns and the the wolf capes and the the standard so they're fairly similar to the veterans box however there's less there's no damage to the shields and the faces are a bit less rugged and worn which is okay they're just your standard legionary and bobs on those sprues I don't, I, these are multi-part kits but I don't think you get a huge amount of options which is I think a bit of a shame and I think a bit of an opportunity miss so two of those and then what looks to me like four standard legionary sprues so I don't really know the makeup of these I gather that a, 
standardish size unit, sort of 20 to 24, possibly even 30 models. So I'll probably be assembling these as 30 man units, although I could quite easily pick up the individual plastic sprues from the website of another command and have two unit, three units of 20. So again, this is fairly simple. We get 10 men on each sprue. Again, there aren't enough spear armed arms to do a full unit of 20 with spear, which again is a shame, but if you do the front rank with swords and a couple of the second rank with swords, they look quite nice. I've seen a few good examples on YouTube and on the internet. So four of those. You can just see them there. I won't show you all of those, they're all the same. Okay, so hopefully I'm going to be starting to assemble and paint these soon. I just need to work out how I'm going to base them. And then I'll get to work. But uh, I thought that'd be quite interesting to show you guys that there are other miniatures out there other than Games Workshop. I know typically I've done a lot of Lord of the Rings and I will continue to do Lord of the Rings. But um, I do like historical as well. So I'm just going to show you the transfers. So here are the uh, veterans water slides and you can see the battle damage and the chunks that are missing there. So those will fit perfectly on the veterans. And then we've got the auxiliaries. So those shield transfers for the auxiliaries. Again, they should look a nice fit on there. We've got the Praetorian shield transfers. So they come in two halves, so they fit nicely over the Praetorian shields. And we've got two, which again leads me to think that these were the pack of 30. On Warlord game site, there are two different Imperial Roman box sets. One of those is a pack of 30, which is what I think these are. And one of those is a pack of 20 with a ballista. Uh, I don't know which is better value. But I, I do intend to pick up some of the ballistas in the future. But you can get the ballistas individually, which I will also be in doing. So hopefully you'll see some of these guys relatively soon painted up. I'd say within the next month or so I might get my testers done. And uh, hopefully we'll go on from there. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you again for the next one. Thanks for watching.